Welcome back. That's what we're looking at. We're looking at the primaries of the People's Democratic Party across the board. We're starting off with a look at the situation in Imo State, where the complaints are between the camp of Ifai Ararumi and Ihedioha. But we have in the studio with us Mr. Elpis Agukwe, a member of the PDP in Imo State. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Yash. You watched um, the report we had there. What's your take? Well, uh, first of all, I have uh, tried to look at the faces uh, in that, uh, what I could call, is it a demonstration or uh, people who are angry um, having lost an election. And I could not even see the youths of Imo, the PDP youths. I think what we have in this report is a youth from Abia State, you know, who were procured to come to Imo to carry placards. Because we have overgrown this placard issue in Imo. As I speak to you, after the uh, governorship uh, primary was concluded, Senator Arabino embraced the right on of Lomoki who won the election. His uh, campaign manager embraced uh, Barrister Chris Okeulon of the DG of uh, Mekihebwa, and people went home. So it was maybe after the, maybe they went home and started uh, <coughs> uh, coming to terms that uh, this thing is over. And uh, we now started hearing issues of uh, protests and, uh, you know, things like that. I was, I'm a delegate, I was at the primaries, I took part, I voted. And the sorting and counting of votes was done to the glory of everybody. Uh, well, so I'm shocked at some of the, the developments I'm even seeing in the papers. Okay, but let's just take a moment here and go over to our Abuja studios. I don't know if we can see him. Ms. Dr. James Okoroma, who's also a member of the People's Democratic Party. Dr. Okoroma, are you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. Good morning. Okay, okay, we have him on the phone. Dr. Okoroma. Mr. Agukwe says the elections went on properly and the youths that are protesting there are not youths of Imo State, they are youths from Abia State. What's your take? That is blatant falsehood. Those youths there are from the 1005 wars in Imo State. They are protesting against the charade, against the criminal conduct of those who conducted the primaries. I am not here for polemics. I am here to give you the facts. I am shocked that the young man there is saying that the youth who, to, who protested were from other states. And the day of the election, we got the primaries, I was in the field. And I saw what happened. First, let me go to the figures. The figures will clearly show you that there was a clearly written script which was acted by those who conducted the, the primary election. Before the primary election, they announced that the total number of delegates was 1,064. They also announced after the election that 1,017 delegates actually voted. They announced that we had 11 void votes. But what I want you to follow me and do the arithmetic. 11 votes were void. 1,006 delegates actually voted. At the end of the voting, the votes scored by their parents were listed. If you add the total votes scored by all their parents from as far as number one to as far as number 27, it amounted to 681 votes. In the third world, if you deduct 681 from 1,006, what you got is 325. So your brother Naranuma scored 336 votes. And what did you know? Actually scored 325 votes. What the TP did was to add 21 votes to the other ones, 325 votes. And got 346. Then when they discovered that 11 void votes added to the other, would bring him to power to 336, which your Garamino scored, they added another 10 votes. 
to give him 326. But in actual fact, if you did not, remember you went to school, and all of us went to school, if you did not, 681 votes from 1006, what you got is 325, which was the actual score on the remember of our record. Sri so had 336, 336 votes. My brother and Nigerian democracy is in Germany. Mr. Koroma, before we go, Mr. Koroma, may I come in here? To produce delegates from his own world. There was a collective conspiracy. Mr. Koroma, are you going to let us ask questions or do you want to just go on? In 2007, they tried to go there and vote for this man again. Mr. Koroma, can you hear me? To have the young man there, I have to follow my love very well, to look at the figures and give you what the mega radio has done. He is engaging in polemics and unnecessary reports. The Hima people are angry with their extension in Hima State. If I'm a has been cheated several times. This time around, the Hima people are saying no. The youth you are seeing there are from the 305 ones in Hima State, not from Abia State. They are Citizens of Imo State, that the people of Imo State, who are angry that Baraduma is being subjected to this, 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 this uh, attack again. And they are saying no. The restriction in our state, and we are asking the PDP leadership, the all Nigeria and the authority of duty, to do the right thing and serve Nigerian democracy from the rest. Let all this Africa, tell Nigeria as well to make any of our stores. Do the mathematics. From 1006, they got 681. What you get is 325. If I were a woman, she would be a woman. Score 336. Mr. Koma, are you going to let us ask questions here? That is the question. That is the question. Mr. Koma, can you hear me? We will need to end up distracting the Nigerian public and feeding the public. Mr. Koma, we might have to cut this call if you will not pause for us to ask questions. Uh, can you hear me now?